Funeral services for an Osage Beach police officer killed over the weekend are set for Thursday. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Megan Drakus. And I'm Lucas Geisler. Officer Felicia Carson died during a chase on Saturday after her car went off the road, struck a tree, and caught fire. Carson's funeral and visitation will be held at the Lodge of Four Seasons in Lake Ozark Thursday from 11 to 1. ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live in studio after speaking to a criminology expert. Mitchell, while these types of pursuits can be risky. Megan Lucas, the Officer Down Memorial page shows that Carson was the 32nd officer in the United States killed in a car crash this year. That is up 45% from this time in 2023. UMKC's Department of Criminology Chair Seth Fallick tells me that all these incidents, incidents have one thing in common tragedy. An ABC 17 review found that eight of the 32 officer deaths from car crashes this year resulted from a pursuit. Crashes are not only dangerous for the officers, they also put surrounding vehicles in harm's way. Generally speaking, you hope not to get in one. And the reason for that is because they're quite risky um, and we want law enforcement to be risk averse. Data from the Police Executive Research Forum estimates that nearly 53,000 people were hurt in a police chase. Of those, at least 15 were police officers. A study the group published last September recommended that police only engage in a vehicle pursuit if a violent crime has been committed and the suspect poses an imminent threat to commit another violent crime. We have to remember that, you know, vehicles, um, particularly in like inclement weather, and, you know, uh, varying uh, availability of, of daylight to sort of help with our vision or hinder our vision. The state recently passed its own potential solution called Valentine's Law, named after a state Lewis County detective that died in a pursuit. The law increases the penalty for suspects fleeing an officer from a misdemeanor to a felony. However, if it reduces tragic accidents is yet to be seen. Um, we know that uh, a lot of folks are not calculating their decision making based on punishment. And so uh, it, it certainly hits them in the aftermath, um, but they're not thinking about it in the moment. You know? Other solutions include drones or using helicopters while officers follow at a distance, which is especially useful in cities where the risk of officers or innocent bystanders getting injured is much higher. Mitchell, thank you. Now, within the last 15 minutes, the Osage Beach Police Department announced there will be a candlelight vigil at the police department tomorrow night. It's set to start at 8 p.m. and the public is encouraged to attend.